We also have uh, from Campus Reform, uh, they went to Marymount uh, University, um, Cabot Phillips did, and he said, I, I just want to read some statements to you, and you tell me, is this Joe Biden or Donald Trump? And he was posing as students against racist Trump quotes. Listen to this. First quote. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. Who do you think said that? Trump. Uh, Trump. <laughs> that sounds like a Trump quote. Ooh. <laughs> That's a big yikes. But, uh, I might say Donald Trump. Uh, Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Next up, this was to a largely African-American audience. Quote, if my opponent wins, they're going to put you all back in chains. Trump again. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I still think that's Donald Trump. Oh, definitely Trump. Uh, Trump. Donald Trump. Hmm. Joe Biden. Next up, uh, this was about Ooh. President Obama. He called him, quote, the first mainstream African-American who is articulate and bright and clean. Uh, probably Trump. I'll go Trump again. Who do you think said that? Uh, I think Trump said that. Donald Trump. What if I told you that all of those are actually Joe Biden? All right, there it is. <laughs> is that surprising? Yeah, very. <laughs> that's crazy. Is that surprising? Yeah. Oh, snap. Oh, oh, that's bad. <laughs> is that surprising to you? Yeah, I mean, it's, they're all pretty racist, so it's not really good. Ah, well, that's surprising. That's really surprising. Mm. Why is that surprising? I've never heard any of those things before, so the fact that you told me that now I'm like, Damn, is he really who he say he is? I don't think that's something I want to uh, really support. Would this potentially impact your vote? Of course. Why is that? Well, I mean, like, since I thought all that was Trump, like, I thought, like, that was going to be a slam dunk. But apparently, you know, I got to reconsider that. So I'll just look more in depth, really. Would these quotes potentially lead you to another candidate? Yeah, I mean, definitely, absolutely. Personally, uh, probably. I would have to really do my research. Yeah, I think it would. Hmm. Interesting. Um, at least they're being uh, at least they're being consistent there. Um, so what does that what does that show you? What do you what do you take away from that besides the? Oh, that was fun. <laughs> Look at the dummies. Well, first of all, it was fun. Look at the dummies. But second of all, yeah. I would say, yeah, that's right. uh, it, you know, it's one of those things where forget the fact that that obviously like the double standard on what is racist speak or not is is a, mm -hmm. is a big problem here. I mean, you know, this is a great example of, uh, you brought up as well. The, uh, the the talk about revolution. And this is one of the most clear ways the media is actually biased in which they believe Joe Biden is a good guy. So therefore, they don't assign negative uh, intent to his statements. And the same thing here with mm -hmm with the racism stuff. They believe Joe Biden isn't racist because they like him and they think he's a good guy, so therefore those statements so, aren't problematic. May I disagree with you just a bit, sure. and, and I'd like to hear your opinion on this. I'm not sure that they do like him. I think they like him as much as they liked Hillary Clinton, you know, in 2006. Ye he's just a vehicle. He's not... They'll right. take him down the minute they they feel they can because they have another option. I think you're right on that. I think that they they don't want to destroy him right now because they think he might Correct. win. And and they and Correct. they see and this is not how I feel obviously, but they see the media like the media it sees itself as a problem as to how it treated Hillary Clinton. They think they this is serious. They think they were too tough on Hillary Clinton in 2016 and it's one of the reasons why Trump won. <laughs> now, I know that feels like a completely different world and it is. It's DC, it's New York, it's the media. Uh, but I that that's how they see that and how it played out. So they're very careful here. They will destroy Joe Biden if they can get someone else who they see as better more to the left than Joe Biden. I, they, they don't want Biden to yeah, be the, the candidate. Minute Joe, if Joe Biden were close to uh, everybody else, they would be torpedoing him right now. But because he's so far ahead in the polls and looks to be the only guy that could beat Donald Trump, they are not going to go after him. Yeah. They, not, they did a little bit, and his poll numbers really are the same, and it doesn't look like Joe Biden's going anywhere. Uh, and so they're going to back off on him. Yeah. But what I found what I found was the most important part of this was when she said, I haven't heard any of that. Yeah. 
Uh, I, well, I haven't he, heard any of that. Yeah, it's fascinating. And again, these are not even new quotes. Now, the media gave him a huge break because he was essentially Joe uh, Barack Obama's vice president. So he had a, a clear Correct. ride through a lot of that. But I think uh, piggybacking on what you're saying is the most important thing, Glenn, the fact that they didn't know this is another thing which shows why they're all Democrats, why they're all socialists, why they believe every Republican is a racist. Yes. The second they yes. hear the quote, they actually all change their minds about Joe Biden. And that's, so I think, he, actually worse. Like, you don't know the context. You have no idea what's going on. You're going to change your opinion on, on a man on, of, from a quote that's completely out of context from a person you don't know who does have an agenda? Like, that is a, that's a huge problem. They sh the research needs to be done. You need to have principles. These things can't just be these flippant decisions, and that's the bigger problem. So here's the, here's the thing. This is why they're silencing voices. This is why they must put Steven Crowder out. They must put, uh, you know, Mark Levin or anybody else. They must put them out of business because once you hear the facts, you change.